I usually leave my book at the other church, you know, when we're getting everything together and and leaving, and it's just hard. To... Sister Annette used to be good with helping me do all that. Oh, you got one. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Well, we got no excuse now. <laughs> Well, let's get in deep there, Brother Rich. Maybe you can help me. Maybe you can bail me out if I mess it up too bad. Between the pages of an old family Bible, I found dates of verse, deaths and old revivals. I came upon a page. It was written by people had. It said this is my last request. These are my funeral plans.
was a good one. Hold on. Not trying to ignore you. I gotta get that in. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Yeah. Open the Oh, 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 oh,
soul is so thirsty. You're so bound and weary. Your body's weak and tired from the pain. Oh, well, it's time to get up. Stand upon that Bible. He's pouring out that letter rain. Why don't you let down your death? Down into the water. There's a blessing when you cannot contain.
after me with conviction in our heart, in our spirit. This is my Bible. This is the truth, the whole truth. It doesn't the truth. This is the Word of God. God. Jesus this is the Word. The this is the good news, the good report, the one sound doctrine. This is what I live by. Stand on and trust in. Thank you, Lord, for your holy word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Herschel. Yes. You know, Brother Herschel, he, he says, I've sang that song so many times they're tired of listening to it. Brother Herschel, we're never tired. No, no, no. You know, sing that song if you want to every time you come to this church, praise God. Everything that is sung, everything that gives God praise and honor is worth yes. repeating over yes. and yes. over and yes. over again. Every scripture in yes. the Holy Word is worth repeating yes. over and over and over again. Because you know what? When I hear the scriptures, it gives me light. Yes. It encourages my life. It picks yes. me up. Yes. It lifts me up. When I hear a song, and, and I, I, you don't even have to be an adult. Music is of God. God created music. Yes. There, was, there was music at the beginning of time in the heavenlies itself. And music was being sung and uh, rang out for, for the honor of God Almighty. And, yes. and, and have you ever seen a little child? The child, you turn on a song, and the child hasn't even seen an adult <laughs> dancing. Hasn't seen an adult cat there hands or anything, but you'll see them and their little bodies will go yes, back and forth yes. and their little feet will go back and forth. 
I remember taking Tabitha when she was a baby, and she'll be 29 this summer, and I remember her little feet just going back and forth, and years later, ironically, I have her son, my grandson Damien, and, and uh, we're at Praise and Worship Church, and, and he's just a little teeny baby, and we have him there in the, in the front, and I see his little foot going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, and so... Man, music, it just touches us itself, and it gets yes, us in the right does. spirit, Amen. the right atmosphere, yes. the right time. Yes. You know, are there certain songs I don't listen to from the past, and because I don't want to remember some of the past. And the Bible says, don't look at the past. I want to look to the future, praise right. God. I want to look into the heavenlies. I want to look to our glorious Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter yes. of our yes. faith, praise yes. God. Amen. So the Bible means a lot to me. When I say this is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, yes. man, I, I, I want to get this down to you more than I ever have before. And I've said the same thing last week, and I'll probably say it next week. That's why we have Bible study like we do, where we take yes. the Bible, the Word of God, verse by verse. Amen. Let the Bible explain itself. Amen. I'm not too big on commentaries. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I have some, I have some great Bible study commentaries. But commentaries are a man. Now, God may have influenced them, but I want God to lead me. You know, the Apostle Paul, this isn't the message. He was in the desert for over three years learning from the Holy Ghost, learning from God himself, what the disciples were taught the three and a half years that they were with Jesus on this earth. So when he ran into the disciples, guess what? It fit just like a perfect glove, a perfect yes. puzzle itself, because there was no difference itself. God will show you what his word is all about. Yes, Ask him. Yes. Ask him for wisdom. Yes. I have too many people saying, yes. oh, Pastor, I can't understand the Bible. You know what? If you ask for wisdom, the Bible says he'll give it to you under Brady. He'll give it to you and he'll give it to everybody. Praise yes, God. I need more faith, Pastor. He's given to every man or woman a measure of faith. We yes. need to act on that faith. Yes. 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 I was very proud of my grandson a few days ago. He got a job, and he was working with his grandma, and they were putting mulch around a house. His first real job, he's done a lot of little jobs since he's been, you know, six, seven, eight years old. But he got paid, he was working next to another man, I won't mention the man's name, uh, but he got paid as much as the man, it was a small job, he got paid $35. And he thought, man, this is, man, I'm in the money now, Papa. And, uh, and uh, I remember he'd come in, and he was real tired. After I said, are you tired? He goes, no, I'm not tired, but I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> and he got up the next morning, and uh, this was just a couple of days ago, so I had to go to school. He had a sunburn on him. And I talked to his grandma on the telephone. She goes, Lord, I couldn't even get up out of bed the next day. Did I kick you up? I said, he got up. She goes, how did he do it? She goes, I'm an adult. I said, well, he's got a few years on you, or vice versa. But we have to put our faith in action. Before we started the service, and well, the service has already started, but as soon as we get here, the service has begun. Church never ends. You know, it doesn't matter if we're at Denny's or at home or on the telephone. The church is happening itself. If we can start to understand, Brother Gary, what God has already done for us, yes. you know, man, we, we'd all be yes. walking yes. in the Spirit 24-7. Yes. The Bible says to, to, you know, faith without works is dead. Yes. Works is, is putting action in, into what God has told you, who you are, and yes. what's already upon you and in you. You know, it, some people think it's just doing good deeds. It's not going to do good deeds. And, and if he says you're healed, claim that you're healed. If you're delivered, claim yes. that you're delivered. If, you're, yes. yeah, if you can't move anymore, claim that you are moving. Do something with what he's given you. Yes. Do, the, do the works of God. Amen. Honor him with your actions. Right. All right. And sometimes our non actions we all have had bad news or heard somebody else having bad news. We talked about yes, some deaths so recently. Yes. But every one of us in here, every one of us in here has had battles and are going through battles. Not battle, battles, plural. Mm -hmm. And guess what? There's many more battles to come. I'm not going to preach a negative sermon. I don't believe in that. I, I don't like a lot of slow, slow songs, the sad songs that I like what Brother Charlie did. Let, let's play that one song that's uppity, man. Let, let's, go, let's, play, let's play something you know, that's going to put life. Because my God is alive. I don't serve a God that's dead. Because he didn't want that song. But we need to praise him more than we ever have in the storm. I don't want to see a show of hands. 
Because I know many of the storms that you're going through. I'm going through storms myself. But we don't give life to the storms. We don't tell everybody about our storms. No. Not everybody needs to know our business. Sometimes what, what, what we need is just God and myself. God and you. But we need to start praising him in the storm as if there is no storm. Amazing and great things will happen, praise God. I read at the beginning of the service, and it was before we started to pray, and it was in response to Sister Mary's prayer request, and that Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. God never said, and I'll repeat it again, God never said there would not be weapons. But no weapon that is formed against thee yes, shall amen. prosper. Yes, amen. The prospering comes when we allow it to come upon yes. us. Yes. When we sit down and allow it to overtake yes. us. That's yes. right. yes. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, yes, Jesus. thou shalt condemn. Yes. Yes. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness yes. is of me, yes. saith the Lord. I love the Amplified. Listen to this. But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue Amen. that shall rise against you in judgment, Amen. you shall show it to be in the wrong. Yes. This peace, righteousness, security, triumph over yes. opposition is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yes. Those in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. This is the righteousness or the vindication yes. which they do obtain for me. This is that which I impart to them as their justification, says the Lord God Almighty. Praise God. Amen. Romans 8, 28 tells us that we know that all things work together for them, are you there? For the good of them that are called to God, that are called according to his purpose. We have bad things happen to us all the time. But, I, I, you know, I had some bad news today, and, and it, it hit me like a ton of bricks a little bit. I said, well, Lord, what, what am I going to do? You ever have that where you just get some bad news and boom, you get knocked down on the floor? Yes. But thank God, Brother Gary, we don't have to stay on the floor. I'm not saying this to give me any glory at all. If it was my my, my I'd still be on the floor. Well, thank God, God can take a hold of us, Sister Mary, and pick us back up again. Yes. You know, we're not down for the 10 count. No. The referee might say one, two, three. He wants to get to 10 and say, you're done, you're over with, you're out. But it don't happen. Amen. We may be down for a moment. The Bible says that, that weeping may endure for a moment, for an evening. But you know what? Joy cometh in the morning, praise God. And you know what? In a little bit of time, I started to praise God. And I, I shared this with another pastor in another church today. I said I heard some bad news. But I started to give him glory. I started to give him praise. Yes. I didn't know what yes. scripture to go to. I, I could have gone to the one here in Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I, I, I could have went to many of them. And I could have said that, you know, uh, uh, don't do your prophets no harm. You know, I, I could have went to a few of those scriptures. But when you get knocked down, sometimes you just can't think of what to say or what to do. Yes. But I knew one thing I can do. I can start praising God. Amen. When you're in the storm, you to start giving Him glory. When you, when you, when you need, need some encouragement, when you need yes. an uplifting, yes. start praising God yes. Almighty. Yes. The Bible tells us in Psalm 100, listen to this. We praise, we praise, we enter His gates and His courts with praise and thanksgiving, praise God. We enter His gates and courts with praise and thanksgiving. Thank tonight, you. they were up here singing. Tonight, some of you were singing. We enter his gates tonight, Sister Sheila. Praise and thanksgiving. Yes. And that's what we need to do. Yes. If you've got a problem in your life, yes. I don't care if it's health. I don't care if it's marriage. Yes. I don't care if it's relationship. Yes. I don't care if, you, if your mind's all messed up. Start praising God. Yes. And mighty yes. things are going to start to happen. Jesus. And the Bible tells me in Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all of my heart, all of your heart, and yes. lean into him. Trust in Him. Yes. Don't trust in your heart. No. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Yes. Yes. See, I, I can't understand certain things. I don't know why things happen, Heather. I just can't explain it. Someone says, why do that happen to us being good Christians? We don't know. But I know that it's of the enemy. You know, John 10.10 10 says, the faith comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Amen. 
The thief will try to steal your joy. The thief will try to steal your health. The thief will try to kill you, praise God. And if he can't kill you, he'll try to kill your joy and your ministry so that you stop. How many people know that when, when your back's against the wall, that's when it comes fighting time. Amen. When your back's against the wall, that, yes. that's when it's being, I, I got to draw on encouragement yes. from God Almighty. You know, the gates of hell will not prevail against Amen. the church of Almighty Amen. God. Yes. And you are the gates, not of hell, but of heaven. You are heaven's gate, fighting the devil's gate. Stand upon that rock. Let me share something with you. Matthew 7 talks about building your life on, on the rock. Someone said rock. Building your life, not, not, not on sand, but on solid rock. That when the storms of life come, when the winds come, and it, it's trying to blow you over and blow the house down, the house is going to shift if it's not a solid ground. But if it's a solid ground, Brother Herschel, it's going to stay there. That doesn't mean that shingles don't come off sometimes. It doesn't mean that a window doesn't get uh, blown out or a door don't come loose. It doesn't mean that it's not going to get rattled, but it's going to stand firm. Sometimes you're going to get a little rattled. Sometimes you're going to be shaken up a little bit. Sometimes you're going to be sifting around a little bit. But we still stand on that solid rock. And when you stand, brother, on that solid rock, brother Alex, you know what? You can use that rock to defend yourself. And that is the word of Almighty God. I remember little David, when he was going to fight Goliath, he comes out there and he picked up a rock. That rock represented Jesus Christ. He picked up five, but all he needed was one rock. One rock to throw one rock. When you are standing on the rock, or if you have that rock, my brother Richard, you can take that rock and you can come against Goliath himself, whatever the disease, whatever the problem is, and say, I come in the Lord of hosts. Today, we don't have to say it that way. I come in the name of Jesus Christ. And right now, I come against this cancer. Right now, I come against this affliction. Right now, I come against this depression. Right now, I come against this, whatever it may be. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you Thank throw you that Lord. rock. Amen. That you, rock Lord. is used as a weapon. Man does not live by bread alone, but in every word that proceeds out of the mouth yes. of God. Praise God. I'm telling you now, remember who you're on. Remember who you're standing on. Remember who's with you. If we start to really, truly understand that, say it all the time, say, I'm standing to the rock. And the rock is within me. Praise Jesus Lord. Christ is within me. Jesus the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. That oneness is within me. God himself is within you. Every believer in here. Don't wait for the preacher to preach. Don't wait for the pastor to lay hands on you. You know, well, there's nothing wrong with that. If you need that, we're here. If any are sick among you, call for the elders of the church. And they'll anoint you with oil and pray the prayer of faith over you. And you will be healed. Amen. And your sins are being forgiven. That's the word in James. Yes. But I'm going to tell you. Start to give God glory. He's in every storm. Amen. It seems like every time the disciples went on a, a, a boat ride, there was a storm. Every time. They never did say they had a good ride, never, did they? Never Everyone, they had a storm. <laughs> but guess who was there? He was either walking on the storm, All he right, was in brother. the boat with them. It didn't He's matter. God was with them. Yes. God is with you, and he brought them yes. through. Amen. Each and every time. Amen. I'm going to tell you a little Jesus. bit about David. The Bible says that one of Saul's men followed him afar off, but they could see him. He started accusing Saul of every despicable thing you can imagine, calling him names and swearing at him, cursing him, and throwing dirt. He was throwing dirt on Saul. I mean, throwing dirt on, 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 on David. He was throwing dirt on David, one of Saul's men. I think it was a relative of his. And one of David's people says, you want me to go out and kill him? He says, no. Let him say his peace. He says, no weapon formed right. against me shall prosper. Right. Let him say what he's going to say. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. But that's, that's Lord. not going to amount to nothing. Jesus. Jesus. I remember another time, David. He took his men out to find the enemy, Brother Alex. And as he was looking for the enemy, the enemy came in to his camp, and they stole their wives and their children and their livestock, all everything that was there. And when the men came back, everything was gone. And the Bible says that they were so distraught, so messed up, they started to rip their clothes and 
They screamed until they couldn't scream anymore. Have you ever been in a situation like that yes. where you just could not cry out anymore? Yes. David was also like that. Not only was his own wife gone, not only was his own family gone, his own wealth was gone. He's looking at his people that he's supposed to be leading, and they're screaming out and can't scream at all anymore. And then the tide changed. The men started to blame somebody. we got to blame somebody. Let's blame David. Let's blame David right now. Let's blame David. If we weren't out there looking for the men, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have lost our families and lost our, our homes and stuff and our, our wealth. And so nobody was on David's side. But the Bible says that David asked for him, he thought, and with a, a little thin uniform the priest would put on. And we could say today, let's bring our Bible. Get our Bible out, praise God. We're going to have church. And the Bible says he started to have church, him and God alone. And the Bible says, Sister Mary, that he encouraged himself in the Lord. Yes, he did. The Amplified says he Amen. encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord, yes, praise God. Amen. When you start worshiping God, when you start crying out to him, and, and not in a, in a painful way, but in a glorious way, God will come through and God gave Amen. him the answer on how to go and get the people back Amen. in the front of the back. I remember another tapping to David. He's out there one day and, and, and he wants to praise God. And it, it said he praised God with all his might. But he was out with a little top of the ephod. It was made out of linen. And if you go and really study the, 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 the Hebrew of it, uh, the words, and, and what it was, it was a real thin little outfit he had on. He was almost naked, to be honest with you. And he's out there and he's dancing around and, and playing the tambourine and praising God. And, and, and it was, it was uh, I think her name was Michelle or Ma 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 uh, yeah, uh, That was Saul's daughter that he was married to. She started to look down and there's other people down there and she started to get upset. Yep. She got very upset with him. What's he doing jumping around like a maniac doing this? He's the king. He should act formally. He shouldn't be acting like this. And when, when he came on up, she gave him a piece of her mind. Some of you might have got a piece of your wife or husband's mind at one time or another. Well, she gave him a piece, a piece of her mind. And you know what David said? I was doing this for God. Give God glory. There was nothing bad in it, another vulgar in it. She probably said, you're half-dressed. People can see right through that little outfit, and you're out there acting like a maniac. What's wrong with you, David? And she said, well, you think that's bad? David said, wait till the next time. I'm really going to lay on out there. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to encourage yourself. Amen. You've got to come against the system. You've got to come yes. against those that won't want, want you to yeah. praise God. Right. Stand up and praise right. God. Give them glory. Praise God. Amen. Paul and Silas at the midnight hour. And yes. I love this story. Yes. I can't. I, I won't get enough of this story. They're, 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 they go in there. They're doing God's work. And every time you do God's work, Brother Alex, the devil is going to come into it. Lord. The devil is going to come into it. There's this woman chasing them saying, look at these great men of God. Listen to them. Every minister would love to hear that, wouldn't it? Yes. But Paul knew that this was not of God. There was a python, a devilish spirit, a spirit of divination in this woman. And he cast it out of her. She used to tell fortunes. And the people that owned her, that she worked for, they said, we can't make any more money off this girl. And they start screaming to the authorities, right. said, lock these people up. They're not even our people. Lock them up. They're bad people. So they get their backs beat a little bit. They're thrown into jail, the inner part of the prison. They don't know what's going to happen to them, and they're going, man, we're preaching Jesus Christ, him and crucified, and we get beaten and thrown in jail. I love it. In several of the sections of the Bible said that the disciples, when that happened to them, man, they counted it as a badge of honor. We got beaten like the Lord, praise God. That's right. And you know what the Bible tells us? That people will come against us just because you are a Christian, just yes. because you are a believer in Jesus Christ. Yes, they when they do that, take that as a badge of honor. Not, not as discouragement, but man, I'm doing something right. <laughs> if everybody loved you and you had no problems at all, we might call that heaven, but that, and that ain't what God wants here. If you got problems, you know what? It's like, thank you, Lord, for the problems. I'm doing something right, praise God. Listen to this. They're in the inner part of the prison. They're in stock aids in the, in the prison. All the other prisoners are around there. Some of them are probably going to be executed. Paul and Silas, they don't even know what's going to happen the next day. We're, we're locked up in here. And it's at the midnight hour. Praise God. Say, you don't have to wait until Sunday morning. You don't have to wait until Wednesday or Thursday church service. You don't have to wait until going to church. They're there. They are the church. We're the church. Let's have church right here, Brother Gary. No matter where we're at, let's have church right now. Amen. They started to sing praises unto God. 
Yes. Certainly to sing praises unto God at the yes. midnight hour. Yes. And the Bible says that God heard their praises and, yes, the, and the whole dungeon yes, started to shake and the chains and the stockades came off of everybody. And nobody <laughs> ran away. None of the other prisoners they're ran all, away. Talk about a testimony. They knew this was a divine intervention. They're looking, saying, you know what? We could be killed tomorrow, but you know what? We're going to stick around. I want to see the rest of the story, praise God. The jailer, thinking that they escaped, was going to commit suicide. Yes, he Because he and his Amen. family would have been punished. Because he's about to put the dagger in him. You know, I believe it was a revelation from God himself. Told Paul to yell up. Paul yelled up and says, don't harm yourself. We're all here. Yes. We're all here. Amen. And he hadn't come on up. And he, he took care of their wounds and bandaged them up. And he says, what, what do I do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? And he simply said this, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you and your family will be saved. Family. It said later, he took them home. He baptized all of them right away. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Lord. Praising God in the midst of the storm. Praising God when you're in the dungeon. Praising God when you have uncertainty. Praising God. That's what we do. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Second Chronicles, it talks about Jehoshaphat. He has three armies coming against him. Maybe you heard this before. One army could have defeated him. Jehoshaphat was the leader of the Israel children, God's chosen people at the time. But he hears, there's not one, there's not two. Three armies are coming against him. And he starts to cry out to God, and he starts to remind God of all the great things that God has done. You brought us out of Egypt. You brought us out of captivity. You set us free. How many people know he wasn't really reminding God. He was reminding himself Praise what God has done. Yeah. And then they go on a fast and they have a church service. And, and one of the young people in the church service stood up and Jeez. by the function of the Holy Ghost started to speak and says, you know what? God is going to tell you something right now. This battle is not yours. It does not belong yes. to you. This yes. battle is, is God. Thank he is Jesus. going to fight your battle. Thank but they prepared to go out to fight the three enemies. And here, talk about praises. He puts the singers. Alex, the singers normally go on the side. Like, let's say, Hershey was singing and, and Heather and Richard. They go off to the side and the others would beat their little drums and trumpets and flutes and, and off would go the army. They didn't do that. They put the singers in front. They put the singers and musicians in front. Right. They put the singers and musicians in the front of the army. If they were attacked, guess who would have gotten killed first? The praise and worship team. But it didn't happen. They're singing. Bless the Lord God Almighty, whose mercy endures forever and ever Amen. and ever. Amen. Praise God, Lord Almighty, yes. whose mercy endures forever yes. and ever and ever. And as they're singing these songs and going over the hill to meet the enemy, God, in his miraculous way, it doesn't say how, he calls the three people that were after them, the three nations that were after Jehoshaphat and the Hebrew children. He calls them to fight among themselves. And the Bible says that they had fought and killed each other off. So when Jehoshaphat went over the hill, all there was was nothing but the tents and all the goods to be taken. Praise God in your storm. Brother Fred, if you don't know what's going on and you just don't have an answer, start praising God. Yep. When you think there's nobody out there listening to you, nobody wants to go to church, Sister Brady, start praising God. Amen. Start giving Him glory. Start standing on, 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 on the Word. And even if you can't remember the Word, start praising God. He inhabits the praises of His people. Yes. We know he's yes. already within us, yes. but when you start praising him, it does something. It, it, it God says, you know what? You are praising me, and I love you. You're my child. I'm going to manifest yes. myself to you so you can sense me and feel yes. me, and great things happen. So the problems that you had, those aren't big problems anymore. The worries that you have, they're not big worries anymore. The troubles, the sicknesses that you have, they're secondary. They're not, they're not first anymore, praise God. What you do is make God first. Praise him. Give him glory. Amen. But I'm hurting, Pastor. Give him glory. Yes. But I'm in pain in my heart. Give him glory. There was a death in the family. Give him glory. There's a separation in the house. Give him glory. There's a divorce. Give him glory. There's no more money. Give him glory. There's no more food. Give him glory. 
and everything else will always, Brother Herschel, fall in place. If God be for us, who can be against That's us? That's right. If God be for us, Praise who the can Lord. be against us? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Praise him. Yes. It's okay to shed tears of sorrow. Glory. I shed them all the time. But I shed tears of joy too. Yes. yes. Give him praise. Give him glory. Amen. Isn't he worth it? Yes. So when you're down to names. your last, someone says, you know, hold on to that rope. See, I, I'm holding on to that rope, but all it is is a little piece of string right now, and I got my fingers on my last little bit. You know, hold on. Because you know that little piece of string could represent the hem of his garment. Amen. That's all you need. You don't need a whole lot of faith. Just a little bit of faith can move mountains. That's right. A little Jesus. bit of Jesus can go a long way. Amen. But you know what? If you have a whole lot of Jesus, Amen. you're praising him and honoring him. Worshiping him. Worship him. Worship him, yes. Great and mighty things happen. Amen. The miracle that you want in your life, and I'm going to keep continue preaching this so I can't preach it. It's already here. It's already here. It's available. It's available. It's available. Your peace is available. Your right mind is available. Healing your body is available. He healing your spirit is available. Praise the Lord. Joy is available. Happiness is available. All in Jesus Christ. Amen. 